Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at how to find the common difference. Just the difference in today's video. So let's begin. All right, so to find the common difference, first it's the common difference in the sequence. So here you have a sequence, two, four, six, eight. Okay, the same thing is happening to these numbers. They have them, um, in this case, go up. Okay, so to find the common difference, what you want to do is first understand that each one of these is a term. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. Okay, so these are terms. All right, next, you want to know what is, um, how much is it going up or down at the same amount. So to find the common difference, what you want to do is subtract the second minus the first term the third minus the second term or the fourth minus the third term. You want to do at least two of these so you can see that you get the same number. So when you do the second minus the first on the red one here, four minus two, you get two. When you do the third minus the second, the green one here, six minus four, you get two. If these numbers are the same, then it is a common difference. Common difference, okay? So let's take a look at a couple of problems. common difference. Alright, so in this first problem here, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is list these as terms. Okay, so I have my first term, my second term, my third term. Okay, and remember I'm going to do the second minus the first. So when I set that up, I got the second minus the first, which is negative 13 minus negative 6. Okay, so you could type that straight into the calculator and get negative 7. And so you know that the second minus the first is negative 7. You could also just add the opposite here. And um, different signs found the difference. So you get negative 7 here. Okay. Now you're going to do the third minus the second. The third minus the second here. So you got the negative 20 minus negative 13. You could type it straight in the calculator or... You can add the opposite and get negative 7. So since both of these are negative 7, then negative 7 is our common difference. Okay, here it says find the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. Uh, negative 17, I'm sorry, negative 14 minus 5, uh, sorry, negative 14, negative 5, and 4, okay? And these are arithmetic sequences because they have a common difference. All right, so here we got the first, second, and third term again. Now we're going to do the second minus the first. Okay, negative 5 minus negative 14. Okay, uh, you could just type that straight in the calculator, or you could add the opposite, you would get 9. And then we're going to do the third minus the first. I'm sorry, third minus the second. So you got four minus negative five. Okay, and then you could do add the opposite here and get you'll get nine. So since you have nine on both of these, nine is the common difference. And just make sure you put the the next term in front of the previous term, okay? On every time and do it at least twice just to make sure. Not all of these should be arithmetic sequences, but do it at least twice so that you know for a fact that it's arithmetic sequence. Okay? And that's it. That's how you find the common difference. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.